brooches that sold for over a thousand dollars. There is actually one in this video that sold for eight thousand dollars. What? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is what I like to call a Bolo category video, which means I pick a topic and I research it and we talk about it. And these items are big money. In this video, we're going to talk about brooches that sold for over $1,000. There is actually one in this video that sold for $8,000. What? <laughs> $8,000. For a brooch. Okay, we'll get there. We will get there. Let's start here with the first one. And we're going to start with eBay. So what I'm going to show you here is that this item did actually sell. Beautiful item. Friendly dealer. Quick shipping. And this is a, oh, I'm not really sure how to say this. So pardon my pronunciation. Is it Sharparelli? 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 I don't know. But anyway, it's a duck. It's a duck brooch right here. Everybody pay attention. This sold for $1,040 on auction, eBay auction. It's a duck head. Yep. Right there. The next one also sold. I'm not going to read all that to you. It sold for $1,076. It had 36 unique bidders. This is a vintage 40s enamel rhinestone flower brooch, morning glory, des patent. Is it Beauchore? You guys, I'm really bad at pronouncing the names. Um, it's not my it's not my strong suit here. Okay. If you guys follow me on whatnot, you know that I struggle. And if you follow me here on YouTube, you know I struggle with this stuff. I don't um know how to say the brands, but this just says patent. So I'm wondering. I know people will call things book. Uh, what do they call it? That it's in like the special book right here, right? Like this must be the book, the Boucher or Boucher, 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 April, filed April 8th, 1941. So there's books you can buy. I also think you can get like eBooks and stuff like that, that help you know of the ones that are not uh, marked or signed. We would call this an unsigned brooch. A lot of the, is it Juliana or Juliana? Yeah, Juliana, I think it is. Juliana, I don't know. A lot of those are unsigned as well. And people will call them a book piece. That's what it is, a book piece. So I guess get a book, but the books can even be a bolo, just FYI. If you find a book, look it up. If you're not into jewelry, look up the jewelry books because People are looking for them. I can't tell if there's a rhinestone missing there or not. Can you guys? But anyway, $1,076 on this one. So I guess this just goes to show, do your research and you'll get more money for your item if you can put the brand in the title. This one also sold. You can see right here. This one only sold for $900. So everything was going to be over $1,000, but this one slipped in. I'm sorry, guys. It only sold for $900. It is a vintage Trafari Alfred Felipe Fleur de Paris fruit salad red fur clip brooch. So here it is. Again, wonder if that's the same seller. It must be a book piece. So they're using this right here to show um, the information right there. But now this is Crown Trafari. But I think what this is showing is that it's the uh, Felipe or Felipe. And a lot of the Felipe go for more. And again, pronunciation, who cares? You guys can read it. You see how it's spelled. And that one sold for $900. Uh, five star vendor. Okay, this one sold. Are you ready? This is a Bakelite piece. It is a Bakelite piece. It's a bulldog head. And if you want to know uh, more about big money Bakelite pieces, whether it be jewelry or other miscellaneous Bakelite items, type in Bolo Buddies Bakelite. I also have videos where I show you how to test it. This guy sold for 1200 Let me make sure. Yes, $1,299. Bakelite brooch. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's a bulldog head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, vintage unsigned Shriner pen. And you can see that it had 32 bids, 14 unique bidders. 
And the person that won had 861 feedback. And you can see the other feedback. Some of most of it, you could tell these are buyers or people that have outstanding good accounts. Uh, they're not people that have issues or non-payers. So this more than likely got paid for. There was not feedback for this one. That's why I checked that. But because it had so many bids, I thought I would share it with you. This is a fabulous brand, the Shriner. 1,305 on this one. And I'm just going to give you the close-ups here. Let's see if this one is marked. Um, I don't think this one is marked. So this one might be an unsigned piece. Not every brooch is marked. That's what's so tough about it. And I actually have um, this video right here. Uh, vintage unsigned brooches sell for thousands. Definitely check that one out. Um, I also have big money brooches by Avon that you walk past. Uh, what's uh, okay. Uh, clip on earrings right here. And if you want to see the owl lamp that I made out of brooches, uh, that one is right here. And this one up here is brooch missing stone sells for over 1k. So clip on earrings, bolo buddies, brooches, bolo buddies, and it will pull up these brooch videos for you guys to check out. All right. Did we do this one? Nope, we didn't. Okay. We did that one. Okay. So here's the feedback. $1,350. They um, sold this for that. Trafari, Alfred Felipe again. Look at this angelfish. Oh my goodness. Notice it has some yellowing on the stones and it's still sold for $1,350. It says the fur clips blue enamel has come off in a lot of places. The original clear rhinestones have, uh, let's see have discoloration. Some of the stones have even turned brown from age and wear. The bottom left corner of the large blue crystal has a minor chip, you guys. So the seller did an amazing job of disclosing everything, including lots of pictures, and it's still sold for $1,350. It's a fur clip. The next item, here's your positive feedback. This is an Eisenberg. Vintage signed Eisenberg, original sterling vermeil orchid brooch. Check it out. Look at those beautiful stones. This one is sterling. Okay, let's see. Did it tell us what it sold for? $1,150. So they did take a best offer. The next one, feedback left, $1,425. This one is going to knock your socks off. $1,425. It is a Takahashi. I don't know what Takahashi is. I don't know if that's a brand or a type of wood. I have no idea. Vintage hand-carved owl brooch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I feel like we find these wood brooches all the time, right? I don't see any signage on that. 1400 or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, $1,425. I'm so confused. Somebody fill me in on that one. This one here uh, sold for $2,000. Now, this one is $14K, but here's what I want to draw your attention to. I don't see anything marked $14K on this. Do you see how it's hinged? Do you see the construction of this? This is a really old piece. These are things that I miss all the time because I, I, I can tell when something's old, but I would, I would not have looked at this and thought, I need to test this. So there you have it, guys. Look for old brooches. And if you have them, I'm going to say maybe test them. <laughs> Don't be like me. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This one says uh, positive feedback. This one only sold for $850. So this one's under $1,000 also. Just wait. We're going to get to that $8,000 brooch in a minute. This one is a fabulous antique gold enamel diamond portrait brooch pin. So they took an offer of $850, all right? So they did take an offer, a big offer, but still, look, really old. Wait a minute. What's that say right there? Does that say 14K? That looks like it says 14K. They did not mention that in the title. Purity, 10K. Well, that's weird. 10K diamond and enamel portrait pen. Huh. Have been tested. 
Wonder why, wonder why there's a discrepancy there. So that one is marked, but they didn't put it in the title. Huh. All right. What do you guys think about that? Would you have put it in the title? The next one, feedback left, $1,850 for this vintage museum quality Shriner book piece. So this is a book piece, glass leaf brooch. And there it is. Wow, wow, and wow. So probably another piece that is not signed, Shriner. Isn't that crazy, you guys? And if you want to see more unsigned brooches, seriously, go check out that video, Unsigned Brooches, Bolo Buddies, YouTube search. It's just crazy. All right, we're going to look at this one that's on Mercari. So this is just to let you know that if you have big money items, you can also sell them on Mercari. Just price them at what you want to get. There are no seller fees on Mercari anymore. So if you sell a brooch for $1,088, $1,088 is going to go into your pocket. Um, they do pass the fees on to the buyers. So maybe do free shipping or offer something like that. Um, to offset some of those costs or price your item a little cheaper or don't. I don't know. If it's a really rare item, I would just price it high and let it fly. <laughs> Did I say that? Um, list it and forget it is what I typically say. I don't know where that came from. Does somebody say that? Did I take that from someone? Because I don't usually say that. But anyway, Trafari Brooch Bird Glass Belly Antique 1954. It looks like it says Des 142659. I don't know if that maybe says it on the back. The item is sterling. And this is a Felipe. Now, um, if you're not on Mercari and you're thinking about getting on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop with that and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So that's free money to shop. Two Trafari key brooch book piece signed. So this again is a book piece. And you can see there's two of them and two for $1,024. What a deal. What a deal. Yeah, look for Trafari guys. It's, it's great. Uh, Google Lens is your friend when it comes to jewelry. You're not going to find everything because a lot of jewelry is hard to find but it may lead you in the right direction. And Google Lens is free. Type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens and it'll pull up that video and I show you how to use it. Are you ready for the $8,000 brooch? $8,500. Van Clef and Arpels Puppy Brooch Vintage. What on earth? It is a fur clip. You can see it is marked right here. I have no idea. It says this is an Original, extremely rare, 1967 Van Cle Cleef or Clef and Arpels brooch. This brooch is an original 1967 brooch. 18 karat gold diamonds with black onyx eyes and knows all proper hallmarks on the rare piece. Feel free to make an offer, but note the same piece sold at Christie's auctions in the 80s for over $10,000. we are asking $15,000 for this fine example of vintage Van Cleef. So it looks like they ended up taking an offer of just 8,500. Now I'm trying to see, see, they didn't put 14 karat gold in the title. So I didn't know this was gold. Maybe along here, it could be signed or 750 is 750 gold. I know certain numbers are certain things. And is this like the date? What do you guys think about that? You want to find one? I want to find one, please. And thank you. Elegant Vintage Diamond Ruby Sapphire. This one is 18 karat gold, but it's sold for $4,900. Poshmark Free Authentication. I can't say that word. But yeah, they have that over there. So for the high dollar items, they're going to get, uh, they're going to go through that process. And how they know everything, I have no idea. But wow, wow, wow. $4,900. So you can sell big money items over on Poshmark for sure. Uh, do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop with that if you join with my referral link. And if you buy something, I get $10 to shop. So thank you for considering and using um, my referral links down below. This is a vintage Amy Kahn Russell pin. Sterling uh, something KR. That must be, maybe this is an AKR. 1,350. I've never seen this brand, but when I was looking on Poshmark, there were a lot. When I say a lot, a lot of this brand, Amy Con Russell for high dollar. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that marking. This is a vintage Amy Con. Here's another one. Oh, here's a better marking on the back. 
but this is sterling, $1,250. AKR, remember it, guys, AKR. Here is an um, authentic mason. Oh, I always, Gripro. I can't remember how to say it. Gripro, Gripro, I don't know. Camille, Camilla, Camellia. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot read or pronounce, guys. Patent de Vere brooch. It's an expensive brooch for $1,150. Mason Gripro. I don't know. Forget it. Just forget it. All right. So what I can tell you from this is definitely consider cross-posting your brooches to other platforms. So I used to start my items on eBay and I would cross-post to Poshmark and Mercari. But I would do it kind of on my own time. I'd get everything on eBay and then I'd sit down and I'd cross post and yada, 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 whatever. So I wasn't getting everything immediately to the other platforms. So I'm starting over and I have a whole video that talks about it. Uh, type in Bolo Buddies starting over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start listing directly into, I've already started, into List Perfectly. I'm going to use their listing assistant. Oh my goodness, check out the demo tutorial I did on that. What? It's going to make your life so much easier. So I'm going to list into List Perfectly, use the listing assistant, and then as soon as I list it, I'm going to cross post immediately to all three platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So I'm getting eyes on three platforms right away. Now with List Perfectly, there's a bunch of different platforms, but three is all I can handle. Plus I do whatnot. So um, if you want to see what I'm doing, how I'm going to kind of refresh everything and start fresh, check out Starting Over Bolo Buddies and Listing Assistant Bolo Buddies. And if you guys decide, List Perfectly is a cross-posting service, but it does so much more. So those videos will kind of explain some of that to you. But if you watch them and you decide it's a good fit for you, uh, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, that's lowercase, and the link below. Um, that's my referral link. Click on that and put in Bolo Buddies when you check out and you'll get 30% off your first month. But you can also get 30% off if you upgrade to a, um, uh, what's it called? A plan. <laughs> If you upgrade to a plan you've never been on before. So I was on the business plan since 2019. I've been on the same plan and I just upgraded to the pro plan. So I was able to use a referral link to upgrade and get 30% off because I had never upgraded um, with a code. So you can use it to upgrade or to join List Perfectly. So that's pretty cool. Once you join the pro plan, if you decide to go that route, the pro plan, you can upgrade or I'm sorry, not upgrade, opt in to the pro plus plan to get the listing assistant, the auto D list, all the fun features that are extra special and new. Um, you can opt into the pro plus plan for free until the end of the year. So do it, do it now, <laughs> right now is the time. So I opted into the, uh, I'm sorry, I, I upgraded to the pro plus from business. This is what I did. And then I opted into the pro plus. And I'm using it and I love it. It only took me five years to get on the pro plan, guys. You guys know I was on the business plan and I was doing it my way and I wasn't changing. I was like, this is how I do it and this is how I'm going to do it. So anyway, I finally decided to make my life easier. So check it out and see if it'll make your life easier. It may or may not. It's up to you. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> seems so vintage. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so seems so vintage. It's one of my very good friends, and she is also one of my moderators, and that is something she says all the time. She's like, I'm not the boss of you, and I love it because people call me bossy bolo. I'm not bossy. I am not the boss of you. <laughs> so I told her I was going to steal it, and I was going to use it, but I was going to give her credit because that's what I do. If you say a funny and I take it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her, but I took it. <laughs> so go follow Seem So Vintage on Whatnot. She's hilarious. Um, I'm wearing this necklace and isn't it fabulous? Look at this. Look how cool this is. And it's meant to be worn like this and it kind of just fits nicely around the bottom of my collar here or whatever you call this. But anyway, I'm going to throw this in one of my untanglings and I'm going to sell it to somebody. And everything on Whatnot starts 
at five dollars or less so i'll probably start this beauty at five bucks who's gonna come buy it um so what i do is i throw my jewelry and if you've already heard this you can uh skip to the next bolo buddies video to learn about more big money bolos or you can listen to my spiel again so what i do is i drink coffee i laugh a lot and i throw jewelry in a pile and i dig through it it's an untangling and I grab and sell and I sell things at $5 or less. So I'll hold up this and be like, all right, guys, we got this necklace. We're going to start at $5. And I hit that little timer thing and you guys bid if you want to bid. And if you don't, you don't. So I hope you'll come over. Um, $15 to shop if you use my referral link down below. That's my what not referral link. $15 free money, guys. You can use that with me or anyone on whatnot. I hope you will use it with me. Just saying. Just saying, we have fun over there. Um, if you don't want to buy, you don't have to buy. You can just come hang out in the chat and watch the untangling. It's like a live show. It's fun. It's super fun. So I hope you guys will come over. I have met so many of the viewers over there, and we just have a good time. If you come to the whatnot and you have fun, let me know down in the comments. And that's it. Check out the List Perfectly videos. Check out... Uh, I've got other affiliates and referrals down there, like my bubble wrap and... Uh, Poly mailers. I'm trying to think what else is down there. Worth point. Um, I don't have a whole lot. It's just things I use, things that help me with my business. So those are down in the description. Appreciate it when you guys use those. It definitely does help me. The Mercari link to get the money to shop is down there and the referral link for Poshmark also. So all those referrals and a little affiliates are down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. And remember, I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> And follow seems so vintage. She's the one that makes the cool hats. <laughs>